girls, welcome back. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but it's the 17th day of December look. Can't believe how fast it's already gone. It just feels like yesterday since I just did the 1st of December look. But yeah, this is going to be part two of the previous look that I um, uploaded yesterday, which was um, obviously a bridal inspired eye tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing part two, which is a bridal inspired face tutorial. So obviously I'm going to show you what I would do on a typical bride or um, obviously if I was going to be getting married myself this is kind of the look that I would go for so the eyes I've already done a tutorial on which were these gorgeous um, red black and silver eye look so obviously I've just quickly redone it today um, obviously yesterday it was more um, blended in quite well today I've just kind of done it a bit quicker so then I can um, get into the face routine so I feel some of you who haven't seen that video at least you kind of know what um, the look was that I went for so yeah if you guys want to see um, a full face routine then just keep on watching okay to start off with as normal I'm going to be using some Nivea cream just to be moisturising my face just going to be taking a Durafibre stifling brush I'm just going to stiff all that into all my face I love this cream, it smells so gorgeous. By the way, this is the new in style for doing eye makeup with the three wing effect liner. let that sit for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to be using my favourite primer for my face which is brightening and tightening complexion primer potion as I said to you guys this is actually like a treatment it's amazing makes your face like suck in <laughs> gets rid of all wrinkles and things going on in your face and darkness and all that stuff so actually really affordable and as I mentioned to you guys in um, my Urban Decay foundation review and tutorial that this is currently still on special offer in Debnum so I've picked three up because I'm going to start using this on my clients because I'm always asking for a product that makes their skin better so I'm actually going to start using this on them as well because that actually makes your overall skin appearance look really young ok just massage it into the face <coughs> just let that sit for a couple of seconds always let, whenever you use liquidy stuff always let it sit for a couple of seconds because it just kind of sinks into your skin ok I'm going to be using MAC foundations today I'm going to be using NW43 and NC40. Now I've explained about MAC foundations in my full coverage foundation routine. So if you would like to see that then I will list that down below. And that explains obviously what the C and the um, W stand for. And what the different foundations are and the shades and etc. So I'll let you guys check that out for yourself. So I don't want to kind of repeat myself again because it's like a bridal inspired look and because you want a really heavy coverage I'll, I would if I was getting married then you would use a flat um, foundation brush as opposed to my normal buffing brush by the way guys just to mention to you um, if you are looking to get purchase some brushes 
um, I'm not being paid to tell you about this or haven't been given any free products regarding anything. I've bought everything from my own money. Um, just to obviously kind of put across to yourself is definitely the number one um, brush company at the moment, in my opinion, is Sigma. I absolutely adore and love their brushes. I do by far think they are better than MAC. And I've ordered the full 18 carat set. So, as I said again, if you guys are looking for some brushes, then definitely do go and check um, Sigma's website. I've listed it in the down bar box for you. And they do ship to um, England. They do do worldwide shipping, which is a bonus. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of work that into the rest of the skin. Also, another tip for you guys, it always do say that um, when you put lipstick, when you put um, foundation on your lips, it actually makes your lipstick last longer, which is really true. Okay, but that's it for a couple of seconds again. I actually bought um, a couple of Sigma brushes, but I haven't received my 18 carat one. When I do, then I will show you them. But I got um, three brushes, which was a shading brush, pencil brush, and then the Kabuki brush. This brush is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have a try with it today. Just to see. Oh my god, I love it. Just gives you such an airbrush finish. It's mad. Um, definitely, definitely, if you guys do not want to spend that much money, um, I would check out the um, Kabuki brushes because they are worth every single penny. I've also ordered that set of 10, so I'm going to get double of these, so I'm going to put that into my kit for my clients. So I've obviously brought that client, that um, kit to use on my clients, but obviously when I get... Um, a bit more mini saved off then I'm going to get a kit for myself but I'll definitely do um, an unbox and show you what it looks like also can't wait for my Bellamy's to come through oh this brush is absolutely amazing I love it just so dense it's the first time I've used it and I just love it okay so once you've put your foundations on then you're going to go ahead and conceal I'm just going to be using Urban Decay's 24-7 concealer. Okay, it's going to kind of shade in all the dark areas. And then give your makeup a nice clean finish from the eyes. Take it a bit on the nose area. Like that. and then around the mouth area and then if you've got any pigmentation anywhere any darkness and just take it there <coughs> okay and I'm going to be getting my flat kabuki brush again this is F80 it's a flat kabuki by Sigma oh, I love their brushes I actually cannot wait to get the full set because I've already got two separate lots of MAC brushes I might even just keep using them on my clients and keep the Sigma ones for myself It just accentuates your eyes and just cleans them off. That's something I love about 
doing my eyes first and then my foundation. Okay, now once you've done that, then just going to be getting your mineralized skin finish in natural. I'm using the shade medium dark. Just going to be getting my large 150 um, powder brush. And I'm just going to be putting that all over, all over face. So I usually do go for my, as you guys know, my Ben and I banana powder, but because I'm doing a full coverage look, sticking to Mac. Obviously, everybody thinks the same question: Oh, Mac is always the best gives you the best coverage, this, 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 or it doesn't, everyone's always raving about it and so forth, but I actually love MAC and I would back it up 100%. I think their products are amazing and they do actually give you an amazing coverage. Ever since I became a makeup artist for years and years, the first makeup that I did purchase was MAC. Obviously, because everyone who looks to get makeup so the first question you would ask a makeup artist is what makeup do you use because everyone is known to MAC so everyone just like oh like sometimes I do get asked the question oh you use MAC or oh, kind of thing but everyone does because you can't get as better coverage as you can from using MAC products that's my personal opinion anyway but um Obviously, people are entitled to their own opinion. I'm just going to be using my Sleek Contour Palette and just going to be getting my Lamascus Contour Brush. So, obviously, what you're going to do is you're going to feed for your cheekbones and then just start it there, like that. Never go like that. Like, you, you do usually see me doing this, but never go like because you don't want the contour to like be here so that wouldn't be right so you get the highlighter and just kind of fill in the spaces where i haven't used it and then i'm just going to contour my jawline And then the forehead, just take it round. And then my nose. Okay. And then I'm going to be getting my foundation brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in oh god I love this brush it's like magic just gives you that airbrush finish straight away Okay, for my nose, I'm going to be using my MAC 266. And then I'm going to be using some NARS Orgasm Blusher and my Large and Good Blush Brush. Oh, 
my favourite blush ever. But a couple of weeks ago, I've already started to hit the pan. <laughs> And then I'm just going to lightly blend that in again. And then to finish off, I'm going to be using my Max Skip Mineral Skin Finish in Adored, my favourite one. And then I'm just going to get my tapered brush in 130. And apply that there. Okay. I'm going to turn a bit on the arch of my brows. Okay, and then I'm just going to move on to lips and then we are done. Okay, I want to be using Boldly Bare by MAC. It's a nice nude lip colour, lip uh, liner. Gonna lightly shade it in. I'm gonna be using my all time favourite lipstick, which is Rush by Urban Decay. <clears throat> okay, now when you obviously do a bridal, um, like a bridal, when you tend to have really vibrant eyes, a lot of my bridals anyway, my brides that I do, they always do go for nude lips, and some of them that I do have, they go for very wow eyes and then very wow lips but at the moment it's really wow eyes and then nude lips because it's kind of balances your face out I love this lip colour. I mean, obviously, because if I was getting married, I would just add a bit of uh, Max Dazzle Glass just to make my lips pop. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish off by using my Urban Decay finishing spray. And then, remember I'm doing it in X direction and then T direction. Let that set for a couple of seconds. There you have it, that is the final look. I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows because obviously I've already filled them in but I've got a bit of product on them. I can't wait to get them done next week. I'll actually do them myself. Um, I'm dying to get them done. But yeah, that is the final look. Just gonna quickly um, fill in my brows again because they've gone a bit light due to the foundation. Yeah, that is the final look. So that is part one, which was previous day, and then part two today of how to do a full bridal um, look. So 
Um, hope you guys have picked up some tricks of how I do my bridal looks. This is obviously my personal opinion about what's kind of in at the moment, what I would do, what I would choose and just kind of information like that. Um, sorry I had to split these video into two, it's just because of the length of them and obviously wanted to make it as informative as possible. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this full inspired look and please do go out and check out the eye tutorial as well of how to create that gorgeous bridal look so yeah please uh thumbs up if you do like this video i would really appreciate it and um, leave a comment below if you've got any requests and please do like rate subscribe and comment and i shall see you guys on my next video take care guys bye